Let's go! Let's go! So you played this game before? Narc, uh, yes. And, um, my favorite part is the end boss. And that's mo most of the reason why I wanted to do this. Okay. Or, I should mention that in the Ninja Turtles movie, the one from 1990, yeah. um, there's that scene in the video arcade, and you see a very brief clip of Narc in there. Okay. And they're on the last boss oh, of it. That makes sense, because the Foot mm -hmm. Clan is like... They're bad, and I guess I don't mm. know if they're selling drugs, but they're giving. I know they're giving away like cigarettes in the movie, yeah, and stuff like that. Menthol so they're bad. or regular, yeah. And you know, this is a narcotics officer, so it's kind of ironic that the Foot Clan would be playing that game. I think that was the joke. Oh, there. I get you. That I mean, I would doubt that they thought that far into it, but maybe. Um, That's the way but, I took it, at least. Okay. <laughs> now, th what is funny about the game is that essentially you are um, <laughs> killing drug dealers, so. You're pretty much just, uh, I guess, I mean, they're, they're drug dealers, they're drug addicts or whatever, but I, I feel like if you're killing... They're, they're drug dealers, I believe. Okay. Maybe they're drug addicts. What? <laughs> they look like both. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was going to ask was, like, if they were doing drugs themselves, which we could assume they are, uh, sure. let's just assume <laughs> right. that you, you, we're, we're just speeding up the process for them. Right. We are narcotics officers, um, but it's funny that we have like these machine guns and we're just going around. And we're, we're killing them. Yeah, we're, there's no trial here. You don't no. like. There's no Judge Judy if, beforehand. It's just like, oh, you sold pot, you're fucking dead. <laughs> it's but, so like strange. I think that these guys are probably worse than yeah. you know. I mean, I guess they're just they're mass murderers, <laughs> is what we're, they really are. We're just murdering people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem to really care, you know. And by the oh. way, all the guys that we're killing look like the Ninja Turtles in the in the cartoon when they dress up and go out on the streets and put on those masks with the trench coats. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically they're firing back at us. Like they're, you know, they have weapons. So I guess we're like in the, you know. Oh yeah, I, that's true. But I don't know. I'm just thinking too far into it. Look at that guy. Bust him. Does, does bust him mean kill him? Do you love that they have that car, too? It's like these hot rodden, like, <laughs> narcotics. Shouldn't they have, like, a police car? Yeah. What are they, the fucking Power Rangers? Like, uh -huh. like we're going to kill people in style. So one of the things I like about this is that you have you also can kill them you can <laughs> with, kill a, with a missile. Yeah. Oh, as, if been... the, as if the gun wasn't enough. Yeah, I'm the red guy, by the yeah. way. Mike, Mike is blue, I'm red. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use the the missile a little more often because <laughs> look at that <laughs> boom oh you see you see their bodies just like decompose into dust there yeah. that was an awesome effect um just so you know so we are playing the arcade version this game came out on a lot of different things like commodore 64 yeah. and of course NES. Uh, the nes game um here's but, where they're making the drugs you know we decided to play the arcade and yeah and what games do you ever kill dogs. That's awful. Let's see if I can jump into the, the drugs here. Oh my god, you can do that? Well, I don't, I don't think I can, but uh. I was trying. Look, look, I'm stuck, though. <laughs> Another game, killing animals, killing... Look at the dealers. puppies, too. Yeah. Killing newborn puppies? No, wait. What kind of game is this, James? You're killing puppies? Well, wait a minute. They... they no, oh, you see, you don't kill... In, they're they, like, they, 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 don't, they didn't want to... It's like mutagen. Yeah. Like, they, they did, they, they created some kind of drug that makes the dogs big. They were probably afraid of getting in trouble by killing animals, so they made it so that the dogs don't die, they turn into puppies. Which is cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. That's how they got away with it. Boom. Oh, you can blow it up, though. Oh, okay. Use your rocket launcher. I mean, what your watch, your watch. Give you Boom! It blows <laughs> up all the background things. What's it do for you, though? Blows shit up. It probably gives you points, I yeah, guess. that's all I think it is. Now, this game was... Uh, there we go. This game was designed by Eugene Jarvis, who did uh, Defender, actually, and uh, Robotron 2084, which is one of my favorite arcade games. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's funny when, you know, there's a game and uh, there's sort of like a... Celebrity designer. This is one of them. It's like uh, David Crane who did uh, mm -hmm. 
Pitfall and Boina's Blob. Oh, I busted one of them. So there you go. You can arrest them. Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> so I, I arrested, like, two people, but I killed, like, 97 or something. <laughs> so wait, so how did you bust them? I don't know. I think you just walk up to them and... Oh, you touch them or something as opposed to... Something like that. I have, to, I have to try it again. I hate this dog part. Look at this guy. Oh, P now we're in our bad Okay, ass. so this guy's a PCP addict. That's what it just told us. Okay. So... So it, it, we are killing, um... Drug abusers. Let's get in our cool car. Let's mow him down here. Oh, okay, you just hover on top yeah, of Yeah, what the hell is that? Oh, this is great, yeah. man. Whoa! Oh. That didn't last very long. No, not at all. This game's great. Oh, shit. Is, I didn't realize those were landmines. D yeah, didn't they look like something good? They look looked like LSD. Look at that. Wouldn't you want to just... Walk? Well, maybe that's what the game's teaching you. Is like you... you... That's <laughs> true. Oh, did you see, see that? He said, I give up. And then you blew him into like a million pieces. <laughs> that's not right. All right, let's try this again. Let me hover above the car yeah. for a while. Oh, oh shit! I oh. didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, can I outrun you then? Let me see. No, <laughs> you can. Just... Yeah, let me get in. Let me. Get oh, in. all right. Oh, oh no! What? Oh god! <laughs> wow! I like how the car doesn't take any damage at all either. Only if you hit a dumpster. Then the car explodes. But then you get another one immediately. Yeah. I had a dream last night that I met Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. And I got to like talk to him for a minute. I think we were at like a bar or something. Uh huh. And I and I was like asking him about if he had ever seen um, the Expendables, and he was uh -huh. he was pissed because oh, yeah. he kept like giving me like this look like, but I I, I forgot that he was in it. <laughs> <laughs> With all the people that are in it, you know, but he's like one of the main he, people. He was pissed that you didn't know that he, he was in he, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, in like the first one, it was he was a cameo. Right. The second one, it was a bigger part. I mean, it still wasn't a huge part, but uh, uh, <laughs> that's funny. I was thinking actually. He just gave me this nasty look, and yeah. I was like, oh shit, what did I do? I was actually thinking about your Three Stooges dream the other day. I had day dreams about was, celebrities yeah. all the time. Uh, um, dreams about celebrities, there's, there's a topic. What that we could discuss while playing this mindless game where you just <laughs> tap the button. Have you ever had a celebrity it's, dream? Um, a few. Um, uh, I remember a Bill Murray dream once. Oh, tell me I'm, about Bill Murray dream. Uh, were you on a golf course? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, for some reason, that's the only way I can imagine Bill Murray. Yeah. I, I, the dream, I mean, there wasn't a lot to say. I was just golfing with Bill Murray. That was yeah. about it. Um, but, uh, there, there are some... I had a Harrison Ford dream once, and that, that, um, uh... It was actually about trying to get an interview with him, and um, like I saw him somewhere, and I, and I asked him if he would do an interview for Cinemassacre. This is Harrison I Ford. Think, Harrison Ford. Yeah, I okay. think I think you were in the dream too because you were, you were egging me on to get the interview, which seems that, like that's, it, that's it would probably, probably right. happen. Yeah, yeah like, I would do that. Like, oh, you got it. You got to do it. Just ask him. Like, what's the worst he could say? No, just just, just ask him. So I'm like, all right. So oh, I busted him finally. Yeah, I busted two at the same time. Oh, oh hookers! We're killing hookers. And there, there's a clown? What is this? But anyway, uh, I, I uh, asked him for the interview. Oh, is that Elvis and his pink Cadillac? Yeah. Um, his mother's pink Cadillac, actually. Don't send me emails. <laughs> so I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm like dead or something. But uh, oh, I'm back. All right. So I asked him for the interview and he just looks at me and then... Or no, no, he didn't at all. He, he actually completely avoided me. Now that I'm remembering it, he... Uh, just com completely ignored me. Didn't say anything back. I <laughs> just then, killed an innocent <laughs> woman. Yeah. And, and then I suddenly went back to you, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he 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 pretty much just didn't say anything." And you were like, "Really? Well, yeah. Offer him some whiskey or something." And I was like, "All right, okay, fine." So <laughs> that probably I go, I go up to him again, and I like I say, "All right, well, um, I have some whiskey." And then he looks at me for the first time. It looks me right in the face. And okay. Says, now you're talking my language. <laughs> That is exactly what he would fucking say, too, I think. So now we're fighting giant bugs. Ugh. Come back, Red Ranger. Yeah, that's another thing about arcade games, is that you can just keep on dying. And So right now we're at, like, a pot farm. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's like the 1960s. <laughs> look... 
There's peace signs. And we're going in with guns to shoot everybody up. <laughs> we're gonna kill the hippies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well they have dynamite though, so... Yeah, they're dangerous hippies. <laughs> At least that's what we're gonna say when we have to go to court after all this. Yeah. Imagine so why did you I... kill those hippies? Uh, they were kind of dangerous. Yeah. Imagine a game where there was no fighting in it. It was all just peace and love. If you just you just walk around and you just give everybody a hug instead of. You mean <laughs> you mean Proteus? Well, Proteus, there isn't even any people in it to speak of. That's true. But, um. As far as the game itself well, the, the, goes, yeah, it's peaceful. There's Undertale, where the point of the game is to not kill anything. It's a pacifist game. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, un Undertale. Hmm. Yeah. But we want to kill things, which is why we're playing this. I guess video games are all about killing things. <laughs> and I just, we take their money, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what this is about. It's just taking the money from the drug dealers. So we're so thieves. we're really like the the worst bad guys of all in this game. <laughs> we are, especially that we can't like die, yeah. you know. <laughs> we're just like, like well, we're not uh, okay. omnipotent thieves. We're not police. No, I mean we're police not. would wouldn't be like wearing red and blue motorcycle suits and police would not be shooting people up like yeah. this. Wait, are they? Sh they're shooting um, needles at us. Did you see that? They were. Is that they're oh, right, right there. You got one of your legs to the knee. <laughs> You got a heroin needle to the knee. Wow. Oh look, I'm there you go. <laughs> Rob the ATM, yeah! We just robbed an ATM. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm still robbing the ATM. While killing people. <laughs> yeah, how are these good guys at all? They wouldn't be robbing fucking ATM. <laughs> for, for what reason do nar narcotics officers have to rob an ATM? Oh, here we go, Mr. Big. Oh, is this it? How many other Mr. Bigs can you name? There's a, at least um, a few from the 90s. Yeah, I think there is. Wayne's World had a Mr. Big. Uh, the end boss in uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the arcade version, right. is Mr. Big. How about Mr. Um, Bigglesworth from Austin Powers? <laughs> His uh, cat. Mr. Sure. Bigglesworth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for you, Jeff. <laughs> no, on our kitties. Boom. I love how violent this game is. Yeah. And you know what I heard is um, that when this came out, it was one of those games kind of like Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. where a lot of people had problems with how yeah. violent it was. And I can kind of see that. I'm sure the NES version was a lot different. Well, it was a side scroller like this, but I don't think it probably wasn't quite as violent. No. They could do more in the arcades. Yeah. I always found that weird, to tell you the truth, how in the arcades they always got away with more because an arcade game is in public and like there isn't really much to keep a kid from seeing an arcade game out at a bowling alley or something. Like, you know, but... Um, Maybe it's that, that you owned it when you were at home, whereas if you're in an arcade... And also, arcades were generally like older kids. I, I think that was more of a teenager mm -hmm. thing as opposed to, you know... When you're when you're at home, you could have like a young kid being exposed to, because you're not gonna. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm not some, sure. some of that's kind of true, maybe. But um, like, I f I feel like if you bought the game, then it's like you you bought it. Like there's a there's more control there. Whether that's a kid true. would uh would say like, or not. So like I'm, like don't buy it if yeah if you know you think they're gonna have a problem with it. Mm hmm. Well, that's why you know ratings came into effect. Yeah. Well, then they had ratings. Did the movie ratings start with like Steven Spielberg? Something, no, something to do with like you're, like you're thinking of the PG-13 rating. That's what I mean. The the R rating and all that. Ha actually, the ratings in general happened in 1969. Okay. And it was or 68 or 69 because it was right after Night of the Living Dead, right? Which was 68. Also, Bonnie and Clyde was 68 or 69. So there was like a lot of movies where uh, they were getting pretty violent. So. Um, that's when the MPAA made up the rating system, but it was different than it was today. There was like there was an M rating for mature. Right. There's things like that. It's funny um, how like rated and, X uh, movies used to be much more like way like a long time ago. Like rated X would have been like they're just you know sh showing bo boobs or something back mm -hmm. in like the sixties. Well, 70s. now they show that in our our movies. Right. So. Yeah. So um, like r the rating system, I guess, has changed. It has uh, due like, to the public, whatever. Yeah, because what Steven Spielberg did was he made Gremlins and Temple of Doom, which were both these insane 
like PG rated movies that had things in it that were like really crazy. Right. And like now, like Lego Batman is PG. You know, like right. N- now it's like PG means G pretty much these days. It means nothing. Um, but then just to think that a PG movie, you could have a guy ripping somebody's heart out. Or like gremlins getting blown up in the microwave and things like that. Right. Um, so the PG-13 rating uh, got invented because um, right. of Spielberg, pretty much. Did we get the key card? No, I don't think so. Unless we both need to go up to it. Uh, Maybe you have it? Oh, I yeah, have Yeah, you do. Okay. And then NC-17 is like almost a non-existent rating because they just don't get released in theaters. Which is why a lot of our movies have to get cut down... Because if they get NC-17, they can't play anywhere. Okay. And um, when that happens, there's always like a DVD uncut version like that, where they just call it uncut or unrated. Um, so there isn't really such a thing as like... At least I don't think there is like a, such a thing as X or anything. Like there was like triple X and things like that, but those aren't even real. Those were just like, like oh, you want to see something really... Really crazy. This is gonna, this movie's triple X. No, I mean I've but, seen X rating. There's X ratings. Mm-hmm. What do you mean there's not an X rating? Um, NC 17's No Children Under 17. A- X existed, but I don't think it really is like a thing anymore. Um, these days, yeah, maybe did, not. Yeah, know. it did exist. X was, I think, 18 and up, pretty much. Right. Just, you got to be 18. But they don't do it anymore. You mean? I don't. Th- I- I'm now. I'm curious. I don't know. Have you seen any X rated movies lately, Mike? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I- <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I don't I, I don't know I only know triple X yeah, I, don't know I mean the thing X. is <laughs> I, I think people get all that from the internet now so it's not really like okay um there there I don't think there's really like people don't go to porno theaters like the way they used to wait tell me more um about porno theaters yeah um that uh I mean that's what, it. what else do you know. <laughs> What else do I know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to know more about this, yeah. James. Is this going to go into the Pee Wee Herman discussion? Because that's, uh, that's I was, your... I was trying to avoid that, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> wow, here he is, Mr. Big. I like that crack. <laughs> that's his organization. <laughs> oh, my God. Me. Yeah. I think I got him. Was that him? Yeah, it was him. But, he, but wait till you see it. It's the most awesome boss Video game history. I don't know. This this would. Yeah, I was gonna say that was him. Be, it wasn't that awesome. Well, no, it's coming up. Okay. Like he. Well, he has like a different form. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Here's where it gets awesome. Okay. Here you go. Whoa! Ah! What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, he's got me in a combo. So the guy who. Designed this game, also designed Smash TV, I think. Oh, I can see some to- yeah. And maybe Total Carnage. So, th- you know how that game has like crazy bosses too? Yeah. So it is a lot like that. So, if you yeah. think about the person who designed it, uh, it's not too surprising that you have something as oh, awesome as this. Shit. Something you should know about this part is that when you die here, you actually die and oh, you have fuck. to claim again. Like, the quarters don't. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Fuck. Damn, I can't even. Let's let's get on opposite sides. That would be uh, good. I don't know. That's not working. Okay. <laughs> Damn, you use up all your missiles. Oof. I spend too much time running away from him. We don't get any extra, like, missiles or anything in it. There oh! 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 Holy shit. Yeah! Are you dead? Fuck. Yep. Oh, is that just At least we got to see. Isn't this awesome? This is disgusting. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Whoa. Is that... Oh, is he dead? I don't know. Let's see. I'm dead. Wow. Nice. Boom. Oh, get the key. Wait, is it still... There, it's oh, wait. I gotta, look, I gotta knock it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, that would a, suck if the bug... The bug kills. kills me? Oh, no. Holy shit. Try to get to the door. 
Is it over to the right? Uh, I think so. Because you've beaten this in the actual arcade, right? Um, I, I, I didn't beat it, but I got to where you are, pretty much. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! Where's this keep going, door? Keep going, keep going. Look at my life! Take it off you. Alright. There we go. Go to the key, the key slot. Alright. <laughs> I thought the Ooh. bug was gonna kill me after all that. Let's see, I hope there's an ending. Look at that door. That's an awesome door. It's gotta end oh, somehow. Oh wait, is it still going? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, wait. Oh! Yeah, you get gold. Gotta get the money. Uncle Scrooge's money. <laughs> You taught me that song, by the way. Yeah, did I? It was from the Mickey well, Mouse Master the Size. Uh, That's right. Yeah. The record. Well, I'm glad I taught you that look, song. Look at all this money. This is like... Yeah. Die Hard. So basically, this whole thing was just like a quest for... Gold. Gold. Yeah. These guys are assholes. They weren't I doing know. it for, like, to help the community or anything. They just wanted money. And the weird thing is how it, it's... The game starts off and it's pretty much grounded in reality, where it's just a bunch of you know, uh, criminals with guns and you're shooting people. It's like, it, it could happen in real life. Then it comes to, like, weird stuff like dogs mutating and then giant bugs attacking you and then it ends up with a giant fucking head that turns into a skull. It's just crazy, like, how the game goes from point A to point B. That boss was amazing. It was. I mean, that that's in my top ten favorite bosses, I think. There's a video you need to make. Contact your local DEA recruiter. Please! <laughs>